loss of identity. You're trying to be somebody else. It's not okay for you to wear your African garb. If you want to be successful in my business, you must take it off with a suit and a tie, and you must talk like me. <laughs> you know, you at warfare. You don't even know you at warfare. You at warfare, okay? Uh, relationships. In our community, based on the imagery, most of our relationships are degraded. Okay? If, if, if they're the pop culture relationships, they're degraded. Bend it over and let me bust it open. You know, and you know, I mean, we don't we don't lost our mind, okay, to tell you the truth. What they what they say it, it was, what's being said on the radio about women's parts, as if it's just a part. Okay? Okay, she ain't your divine wife. She ain't even your, let's see, the, I, I was at a meeting with Brother Cobble, and he broke it down. He said this woman is, should be called a Hemet Nesu Waret, a deep well of water from which I drink. Okay, then he also talked a little bit about how we want to call ourselves queens, but queen means the king's whore. He broke that down for me. We got a lot of people running around talking about my name is Queen This, Queen That, and Queen This. The brother broke it down, Brother Kaba, Booker T. Coleman. Mm -hmm. Queen means the king's whore. Okay? So we, we gotta we gotta begin to start thinking as Africans again, acting as Africans again, and occupying ourselves as Africans again. Because that's the only way you're gonna be well. Okay? <laughs> The law of physics says two different things cannot occupy the same place. That's insanity. Okay? You can't be European and African. You're going to have to make a choice. There you go. Okay? There are a lot of people who will tell you that you can do both of them. You're going to have to do one or the other. That's what I'm telling you. Okay? But you can listen to who you, whoever you want. I'm just about to say, cool, I don't know what I'm talking about. No way. Okay? All right, brother. Re religion. Religion, spiritual deprivation, religious indoctrination, mass controls, suppression and oppression ideology. The religion that we have been given is the religion of suppression and oppression ideology. It makes you sit still and take it. Because you're waiting to go to heaven and then something else is going to happen. Whatever's happening is happening right now and right here. Okay, your heaven and hell is happening right here. Okay, they got you looking at heaven, okay, and wishing on heaven while they run around here and collect all the resources on the planet. <laughs> okay, Bible for the land. All right, that's that's what's going on. So now we have to understand now if we're living in a lifestyle where our society, economically, diet, health, racially, education, relationship, religion is all under stress, under attack. How could we possibly think that we healthy? Because that leads to mental disorders, premature mortality, dysfunctional lifestyles, social conflict, higher rates of incarceration, loss of hope, grief, escapism, desperation, anxiety, social instability, inability to transfer positive values and ideas and behavior from generation to generation, due to loss of our rights of passage in our communities. Mm. Okay? Without our rights of passage, we are not preparing our young. Okay? The Western world counts success by physical objects. African people and Eastern spiritual people uh, value success by the person, 